three cities, three cities one day. Somebody asked me, they said, hey, man, you buy that jet to show off? I bought that jet so I could do three and four cities in one day. In the past, private jets were considered a luxury that only the ultra-wealthy could afford. However, with the outbreak of COVID-19, commercial flights became less attractive due to crowded airports and unpredictable schedules that increased the risk of infection. I definitely felt unsafe. If the government's telling me to stay in groups of less than 50 and keep social distancing, um, I, that was the opposite. This process was the exact opposite of that. It didn't make a ton of sense to me. Private aviation then emerged as a safer and contactless travel option, which led to a surge in client interest. Even millionaires who once flew commercial now opt for jet cards or fractional shares for extra reassurance. Private flights have provided freedom of movement during lockdowns and helped people safely distance themselves from outbreaks. Very quickly, when people realized they wanted to avoid crowds and they wanted to connect with family or they wanted to repatriate back to their country or, or whatever it might be, um, we started to see a rise. Analysts believe that the pandemic has significantly raised the profile of private jets on a long-term basis. People who were newly introduced to the conveniences and reliability of private aviation have adapted their expectations. Well, we, we always talked about the benefits of, of uh, using the business jet uh, infrastructure because of the efficiency uh, and the time saving you actually achieve. And, and now with the pandemic, uh, we have shown the world that this is really the backbone how people can still travel. So in my judgment, uh, a, a, a great number of people who are now flying on business jet will stay. In this video, we discuss why many rich people view private jets as an investment rather than just a lavish indulgence. Hours for three hours, you got me standing. Waiting on you now. Let's go. Come on. Wheels up. Rock and roll. Unlike cars that rapidly depreciate, Private jets have long proven to be appreciating assets when properly maintained. In fact, some models have increased in value by over 200% in just the past decade alone. For instance, if you purchased a Gulfstream G450 in 2010 to 2011 for around 30 to $35 million, it would be worth over $100 million on the pre-owned market today due to strong demand. That's an appreciation rate of around 250 to 300%. This counterintuitive concept can be attributed to supply and demand dynamics within the aviation marketplace. Of course, in the past year, because of COVID and because of the lack of supply, prices actually went up. As the ultra-wealthy and corporations continue fueling demand while manufacturers face lengthening wait lists, the scarcity of certain aircraft models on the pre-owned market has driven valuations sharply higher. Um, you know, with the available inventory so low, it, it's really a waiting game. It's it's a lot like the housing market, similar to where, you know, we are in Southern California, where, you know, a plane comes on the market and it's really a bidding war and, you know. Just look at what's happened to popular large cabin jets like the Gulfstream G550. A plane purchased in 2015 for $52 million could easily fetch over $65 million on the used market today thanks to a robust secondary market and limited fresh inventory. This is a lucrative trend that's especially advantageous for owners who can afford to hold aircraft for five to 10 years before upgrading or selling for significant profits. One billionaire client made a $38 million gain this way when it was time to trade in his G550 for a new G700. As more high net worth individuals get educated on aviation investments, we see a shift from perceiving jets as liabilities to legitimate stores of wealth. And as newer models with cutting edge technologies continually command higher price tags, this fosters a perpetual cycle where both new and pre-owned values stay buoyant for the foreseeable future. Some experts now equate select jet brands to blue chip stocks, projecting steady long-term appreciation alongside the use of the asset. It's a notion that's changing how the privileged preserve wealth across generations. Although the ultra-wealthy have traditionally transferred wealth between generations through trusts and other methods, more self-made millionaires are realizing that private jets can also serve this purpose. Unlike other luxury items that lose value quickly, aircraft retain their value for many years when properly maintained. Those with a multi-generational perspective, private jets can become valuable family heirlooms that pass on legacies. Legacy thinking involves more than just a one-time gift. Many millionaires transfer fractional ownership interests in aircraft 
holding companies to their children over time. Fractional ownership involves you, the customer, buying a nominal share in an aircraft. When you do that, you, what you're buying is guaranteed availability for a certain number of hours, not necessarily in an individual aircraft, but an aircraft of that type in a fleet. When the heirs take over, the fractional shares they hold will accumulate, resulting in full ownership of the asset, which will appreciate in value over time. Some millionaires even plan to pass on their jets to the second or third generations. It's what you pass down to your children and your children's children. Certain models of private jets are expected to increase in value by five to 10 times over 50 years. By keeping these appreciating assets in the family, the benefits compound over lifetimes. Gradually passing ownership to heirs over generations ensures that private jets remain operable and can be used by elite families and businesses in the future. Shared flying experiences also deepen the bonds between generations. Long after wealth transfers, more millionaires are adopting strategies used by the ultra-wealthy, private jets are transitioning from luxury purchases to essential assets managed for multi-generational legacy planning. For growing families, private aircraft represent wealth that can withstand the test of time. Families accustomed to private aviation often use aircraft to maintain a certain standard of living. One common strategy used by the extremely wealthy is to establish inheritance trusts that contain various assets such as stock shares, real estate holdings, and private aircraft. These trusts help ensure uninterrupted transportation between the family's multiple homes and business operations while maintaining a high level of service and luxury travel accommodations. By consolidating ownership of the private jet fleet through the trust, the aircraft can be seamlessly passed down and shared across generations of the family. This perpetuates their standard of using private air travel to efficiently move between locations. Additionally, maintaining operational control of the jets and other luxury possessions within the trust over long periods of time, rather than liquidating them, allows their appreciating values to continue accumulating wealth for heirs over decades into the future. Keeping appreciable assets like airplanes actively incorporated into an inheritance trust structure helps preserve total family capital and also increases it across generations as asset prices rise. This ensures descendants can sustain the prestigious lifestyle and expectations established before them. Studies have shown that self-made millionaires are acquiring fractional shares in aircraft early on as passive investments, as this allows them to become acclimated with private air travel alongside growing their businesses. Over decades, as fractional shares are acquired, ownership percentages gradually accumulate. Unlike luxury vehicles that lose their wow factor within years, or even super yachts becoming commonplace among global elites, private aviation retains a lure as an aspirational symbol enduring generations. Entrepreneurs and executives with a visionary mindset often understand the importance of perception and appearance in today's image conscious world. When seeking partnerships or investments, traveling by private jet instead of commercial flights can subtly enhance the impression of importance resources, and success, studies suggest that venture capitalists and large clients take pitches more seriously from individuals who appear to travel in luxury. We were going through Dallas. I was still flying commercial at the time. And he's like, we met the VP of some company. And he's like, you know, Grant, when you buy the plane, we won't meet the VP of the company anymore. Mm -hmm. I said, no, we won't, dude. Now we'll meet the owner. <laughs> it's safe to say that traveling in luxury can make a significant difference in creating a positive impression of importance, resources, and success. It indicates that the entrepreneur or executive values their time and has the means to travel in style. This perception can make investors and clients take them more seriously and view them as someone worth partnering with or investing in. Moreover, owning an aircraft fleet is another way to boost one's image and reputation. It signifies the ability to undertake massive projects on a large scale and shows that the entrepreneur or executive has the resources and capacity to do so. Even mundane responsibilities like site visits and overseeing operations gain prestige when conducted through private travel. Entrepreneurs and executives who want to make it big in the business world need to pay attention to their image and perception. Traveling in luxury and owning an aircraft fleet are just some of the ways to enhance their reputation and make a positive impression on potential investors and clients. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.